over! Excuse me, sir, but you legally cannot say that. In fact, you can't even use that voice too. Hello, viewers. Once again, I will be talking about Nashus and Lancer. This time, the Blackbeard, from IPSN. Named after an English pirate, Edward Deitch, who preferred intimidation rather than the use of force to get what he wanted, Blackbeard the Mech is instead all about brutally murdering anyone that looks at it strangely, and ironically, as that's what real pirate that wasn't Blackbeard usually did. Looking at its stats, Blackbeard is a beefy, fast boy. 12 health points, 1 armor, and 8 evasion make for a good amount of survivability, its speed has a pretty good number too. But it clearly isn't made to defend against tech attack with that low E defense, and it probably can't hack well either with that incredibly short sensor range and negative tech attack bonus. Blackbeard's traits further cement its role as a close range fighter. Cable grapple allows it to grapple enemy from range. As the only mech in the game that could do that, it is a dangerous mech that can immobilize nearly everything on the field or carry its prey away from its allies to silently murder them. Lock, kill subsystem lets it be even more effective in its role, allowing it to defend itself while grappling and further drag its victim away from help. But these great traits come with a drawback, exposed reactor gives Blackbeard plus one difficulty on engineering checks and saves. While enemies that can cause engineering checks and saves are rare and few, this still means that Blackbeard is very vulnerable to bloody fire, specifically burn damage which ignores armor and deals damage per round if you can't get rid of it. At its baseline, it has 5 system points, not very good, but it's still enough, and it has 3 weapon mounts anyway. A flex, main, and heavy. Good for carrying tons of blades and dangerous instruments. For its core power, Blackbeard has the Omni Harpoon which can pull any number of targets within range 5 towards it, knocking them down if they failed a hell save while those that succeed remained in place. Either way, they are taking quite a bit of damage and until the end of your next turn, they will all be immobilized, right in the range of your murderous blades. But wait, there's more. You don't just get Blackbeard only from the license, you get weapons and systems. For each license, there are three sections. You get the mech with the second section and there are some real good shits in the third section, but that doesn't mean what you get in the first section are bad either. For the first section, you get synthetic muscle netting and chain axe. Synthetic muscle netting is practically a must have for any grapple focused build. Against same size opponent, you automatically succeed the grapple hull check. Against larger size opponent, you have a chance to win when previously you couldn't even get a chance to. Channel your inner wrestler with synthetic muscle netting, you know you want to. Chain Axe is Sorry, where was I? Right, Chain Axe. Average damage, capable shredding your opponents upon critical hit which mean their armor and resistance no longer applied, until the end of your turn. But having reliable damage is always good and make for a quick kill on grunts. In second section, you get the Blackbeard frame itself, Fleshette Launcher and Nano Carbon Sword. Fleshette Launcher bursts a hail of fleshettes all around your mech, dealing only one singular damage to anyone around you. But against grappled target, probably by you, or any biological target, the launcher will deal a painful 3 damage instead. It's clearly a weapon built solely for grapple fighter, but maybe its anti-biological attribute might come in handy when the bugs started knocking. Nano Carbon Sword has absolutely nothing special besides being incredibly reliable and has a threat to range, widening its field of death. In the third and final section, Reinforced Grapple and Segment Class NHP sit at the throne. Reinforced Grapple grants its user two abilities. The first one, Grapple Movement, allow you to basically become mech-sized Spider-Man or <laughs> allowing you to cling onto any surface even vertically. I would also like to remind you that this work on every single frame. Its second ability, Drag Down, allow you to drag down any character within a range of 5. However, you have to make a contested hull check between the two of you and anyone that loses get knocked on their ass, that includes you. Now, finally, the segment class NHP. 
I really like that the first true non-human person system the core rulebook introduced to you is so efficient at being a serial killer that it does not care who or what its blade is beheading, leaving you hapless and controlling its brutal rampage. Upon activating the NHP, your mech truly goes on a berserker mode and will charge at the closest thing, including your allies, to ask them a question. Even if said target is in your ranged weapon's range, it will still use all actions to charge at it. If you turn it down, your mech will be stunned and locked up for a turn. If you don't, your mech will continue its spree of massacre until it is destroyed. Notice I said until it is destroyed, not you. The NHP does not care about your well-being, it only cares that you have activated it, even if you died right afterward. In fact, as soon as you stepped out of the mech without deactivating it, it will murder you. You might ask, why the hell would you want something like that? Because damage. When the AI is activated, any critical hit you made with melee weapons deal 1d6 more damage, and you get an extra free skirmish attack every round. If you are entirely surrounded by enemies, you have no worries of friendly murdering your allies. Remember, NHP is not your friend, it's a tool, a dangerous one that could turn against its user if one misuse it. Like fire, one should always take precautions against it, and once you understand its inner workings, it will benefit you greatly. Overall, Blackbeard is a brutal machine, and it isn't shy about it. It's made for getting close fast and efficiently murder the first one its blade reaches. There's no hit and run, only loud clangs of blades and armors until one falls. Then you will move on to your next victim, because you will never stop when there's killings to be done. Mm -hmm.